I'm James Spencer from Basic Brewing Video. One of the most important things in brewing beer is maintaining good sanitization. The environment around us is inhabited by all kinds of invisible living things like wild yeasts and other organisms. Sanitizing your gear will help make sure that your yeast is the only microorganism that will take up residence in your fermenter or bottles. Now they say that nothing that can hurt you can live in beer, but there are little critters that can affect the flavor of your beer. Now everything that touches your unfermented wort or fermented beer after it's been cooled following the boil must be sanitized. The first step in sanitization is to make sure your equipment is completely clean. You can't sanitize dirty gear, so make sure all your equipment is clean of any debris first. Now your homebrew shop sells what are known as no-rinse sanitizers, and here are a couple popular examples, Iota 4 and StarSan. Now no-rinse means you don't need to rinse your equipment with water after you sanitize. That's important because your tap water may have some critters in it too. To use these sanitizers, mix them exactly to the instructions on the label. Using more in solution is not better. You don't need to soak your gear in the sanitizer solution for an extended time. Just immerse each piece for a few seconds, then allow to drain for a couple of minutes. You don't have to wait for it to dry before using. I like to keep a sink full of sanitizing solution as I'm brewing or bottling to dip my hands in every now and then and sanitize any pieces of gear that I've forgotten. A wallpaper tray is also handy to sanitize long pieces like racking canes or auto siphons. Give your yeast a nice clean home to move into and they'll reward you with great tasting beer. Hope that helps. For lots more brewing information, check out BYO.com and BasicBrewing.com.